Hi guys, my name is John Menisondra and today I will be demonstrating on how to paint a swan on a lake. This was suggested by EBCD and his real name is Tano. Okay, but before that, I will, I will be in, um, introducing to you my materials. And this is my pen palette. Uh, this is titanium white, tallow blue, the medium yellow, the brilliant red, and the black, lamp black. So you observe guys that I'm using um, limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn on how to mix the desired color you want. Okay. And this is my paint brushes. Um, this is a one inch flat brush. Number seven uh, flat brush. Um, this is a fan brush, guys. Number six. And number four flat brush. And number one liner brush or round brush. You can use a smaller brush like this, um, smaller than this one, guys. Like number zero, number uh, double zero or triple zero. Okay, and water, guys, uh, to thin the paint. So I need water to mix it into my my paint to make the paint more fluid. And this um, chalk, guys, for sketching. Okay, so I'm going to start now with my um, painting. So I'm going to start with the background color. So I'm gonna start with the forest, guys. Then the reflections. Then I'm going to add later the the swan. Okay, now I'm going to use the blue and the red. I uh, know yellow. So there's a little red. So I'm going to use the red. Okay, I'm going to divide the the paint into into two into half. This part, guys, will be forest, and also this one is a farther forest. Okay. Okay, so I will paint painting it over. So this is just the background colors, guys. Gonna use the yellow, red, and blue. Okay, to mix another green, the blue, yellow, and a little amount of red. Okay, so this part guys will be a um, farther forest so I'm gonna paint it with lighter color so I'm gonna use the white I mix the white with a little amount of blue and black so more blue ah, by the way guys my canvas is um, 12 by 16 inches and has three coats of prime gesso it is lighter with a little blue and black it's a little misty guys the effect is a little misty so the colors is a uh, little bluish So you just have to play the blue, black, and white guys to this color. Okay, so I'm gonna white, blue, and black. More white and blue. To create a misty effect. So that, that is the colors I'm just playing guys. 
I'm gonna make the this upper part lighter. So I just you add the white to make it lighter, guys. Okay, so it's kind of blurry, guys. The effect. So I just blend it well. Okay, that's it. And this one. I'm going to make this part more bluish. Okay, and so this one, so I'm gonna mix for a darker green with red and yellow. Okay, I think I'm gonna clean my brush first and gonna fill the yellow and blue. Okay. Then I use the blue, the yellow, and the red. The red guys will will make the color darker, so it be, will become darker green. Use the black. I'm going to add the black, blue, yellow, and red. More yellow. Okay. And I'm going to use the lighter color. I'm gonna use the yellow and white. So this will be a grasses, guys. Darker. Okay, so I'm gonna add um, a little brownish on this part. I'm gonna use the red and the black and red, a little yellow and white. Darker. White. So just observe my stroke, guys. How I uh, how I did it. Or how I, I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. That's it. And I'm going to start adding the reflection, guys, of the color. So I think I'm gonna create a reflection like this one, reflection of this one, and also the background of this color or this part okay so make sure guys make sure guys you you clean your brush before 
for mixing other colors okay now I'm gonna mix this color again blue um, black and what and white more black I think I'm going to add a little amount of yellow on that because I think it has a little green Okay. Add more white. I told you guys I mix the colors, so it's okay, guys. See, I think I, I'm going to add a, a little amount of red because it's it's match the colors. Okay. So everything when you when you paint um a reflection, guys. So you just follow everything on the top so just whatever colors here so just put it here put it on the reflection Add the green a little amount of green and white Okay, what right there? Okay, just uh, create a line here. I'm going to mix a uh, little amount of green to, to copy the color. I think darker with a little amount of green okay Okay, now I'm going to add lighter here, but first I'm going to finish that. This is some sort of green color guys, so I'm going to add yellow, a little amount of yellow. So you can you can create a downward stroke guys or a vertical strokes. Okay. I'm going to add white to create a lighter color. More white. Just follow what I'm doing, guys. If you're not paint with me, okay. To add more white with a little amount of black. I think it has more black, guys. I 
And I'm going to add more white in this part. Just blend it well, guys. Okay. And I think I'm going to blend it here more. Now here's the blue, the black, more black, and white. Okay, I think this is the right color. The little amount of green or yellow. No, yellow. Okay, I'm going to blend more. Okay, okay, I just I think I'm going to finish it later. So I'm gonna I'm going to I'm going to do it this first. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this dark color. So we use the blue and the red and the green. Now oh, yeah, the yellow. So I'm gonna it should be this way. Okay. Then the the yellow, the black, no, the red and the blue. More red and yellow. more yellow and blue more yellow and red okay this is just the background colors guys so we can improve it later Okay, I think I'm done with my background colors. Um, here also, before I forget. Red white. Okay, and brown. So red. Black, yellow, and a little amount of white. White and yellow. So just follow everything on the top guys.
Anyway, this is, this is just this is just the background colors. Okay. That's it. And now I'm going to add more details here. Okay. I'm gonna use the fan brush number six. Yes, number six. And I'm gonna use the yellow and blue. And wait a amount of white. And red. Blue. Yellow, no yellow. Yeah. Okay, also here. So just um, same technique guys, the tapping technique or the punching technique. Okay, here also. Another yellow and red. More yellow. And to add darker colors. Okay. And more lighter color guys, so I'm gonna add white and yellow. So just use the tip of your um, fan brush guys. If you have smaller fan brush, you can use it. That's better. Okay. Like this one, just using the tip of the fan brush. Use the yellow. Okay. okay, same technique guys, the punching or the popping technique. Yellow and red. Okay. That's it. So I'm gonna add more. So I'm just using the tip of the brush guys, the tip of the fan brush, using the zipping dick, the punching technique. Okay. More here. And add white and yellow. Okay, and of course guys, you should just follow everything here and put it here. So, I think I'm gonna use the... The fun brush. So here guys is uh, some, some sort of zigzag strokes. Like this one. Okay. 
So just follow everything you see here and put it here. That's the idea of our reflection, guys. Okay. And here. Okay. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make it lighter. So I'm gonna use the white and, and yellow. White and yellow. Okay. Yeah. So here. Anyway, later, guys, I'm going to detach this one. So that's enough for today, for this time, at this time. And also here, I'm going to make it this part lighter using the fan brush. Okay, and I'm going to add more yellow and white. to reflect it here okay okay guys I think I'm gonna let it dry first for at least five minutes then I'm going to go back and add more details so like this one here i'm going to add this one here i'm going to put it here and also other details okay so i'll let it die for, for at least five minutes okay guys so i think the paint is already dry now okay so i'm going to start sketching the this one the white one Okay, so I'm gonna put it here on this part. So I'm gonna get it here. And this will be a very huge one. <laughs> okay. I'm using a chalk guys, blow chalk. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm done with the sketching, so I'm gonna start with the color. Oh. And I'm gonna use the, okay, I think I'm gonna use the bigger brush, the number 7 flat brush. I'm gonna start with the background colors, this one first, before adding the highlights and the darker colors. So, I'm gonna start with the darker colors, I'm gonna mix for it. So I'm gonna use the blue, oh no, the white, sorry, and a little amount of blue and black. Okay, so this one will be darker. So gonna be it's gonna be um bluish gray. I'm gonna put it in here.
Okay. So here. If the paint feels hard guys, just dip the tip of your brush into the water to make it a little fluid. Okay, so another bluish, blue and white and black and another white. Okay, so I put it here. So here. Okay, I'm going to add the white. Okay, so I'm gonna use the pure white, guys. The white color. And just, I'm going to apply it directly. the little feeders okay just follow what I'm doing guys So on his head. Be careful in blending, guys. Okay. And on its tail. Just follow what I'm doing, guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay, to add more um, bluish grays for the shadings, so you just mix it, to add it here, also here. Okay, I think we're gonna let it dry first before adding more details. Okay. And first I'm going to add or to add some details on the beak of the 
of the of this one so I think I'm going to put it orange so I'm gonna mix the the red and the yellow with a little amount of white and yellow yeah using the number one liner brush or a round brush okay or a little red and black I use the black I just use the black with a little amount of blue That's it. Okay. To add a little shading, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna add a little white. Yeah. Going to add a little white on the peak. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm going to retouch a little bit here because the head is some light and um, big for me. Okay. Just erase some parts. I'm gonna use the smaller brush the number four flat brush i'm gonna mix for green and yellow out of red and white okay Okay, so guys, I want I want you to know that it's okay to commit mistakes. You can actually cover it because it's paint. Okay, that's it. And now I think I'm going to start adding more details of the background first before finishing this one. Okay. I think I'm going to add more. I'm going to add uh, more details here. I'm gonna put some white um, line here to the water. I'm gonna use the number four flat brush and white with a little amount of blue. Okay. Okay, just careful guys for the straight lines. Okay, take control of your hands. I'm going to blend it. I'm 
to add more lines to create a water effect okay okay that's it and now here I'm going to add more details on the on the background forest I'm gonna use the bigger brush the number seven flat brush and I'm gonna mix for brown so I'm gonna use this color the yellow and orange only yellow and red and orange yellow and white and a little amount of black but it's too much I'm going to add more white and yellow okay I'm to add more highlights guys in this part so just follow what I'm doing guys okay Okay, and then guys, just copy everything on that part. And copy it below to make a reflection. So this is how you do a reflection, guys. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna make it more lighter. Or lighter, <laughs> not more lighter. So I'm gonna use the yellow and more white. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. And also here. Okay, and I'm going to add more green. So I'm gonna mix for I'm gonna use the yellow. The yellow and the blue and the white. Lots of white and yellow. I'm using, I'm using the same brush guys, the number seven flat brush. Okay, and also here. Okay, I'm going to retouch this part here.
Okay. That's it. And now I'm going to add more details on the forest. I'm gonna add more um more trees or tree trunks. So I'm gonna use the black and the existing brown color. Red white. Need to make it darker. I'm using the number zero round brush, guys. Uh, number one round brush. Okay. And don't forget to uh, I think I'm going to emphasize here and here as a reflection. I think here it's gonna gonna be a bit uh, so I know never mind about that this part. Okay. One more okay I'm gonna put highlights on that reflection so I'm gonna add white more white so here and here and here okay okay I think I'm gonna add a tree here so that I'm gonna I can put a reflection also here okay now I'm gonna use the number four fat brush and black and red and a total amount of yellow black red and blue some sort of dark color guys and yellow you just have to mix a dark color but not black guys okay 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 i think i'm gonna add more blue It's gonna be a huge tree. Okay. And I think I'm gonna add, I'm not going to add um, leaves on this tree. I just leave it um, without leaves. It's gonna be a little creepy tree. Okay. 
Okay. You can use a smaller brush, guys. Like number one cut around brush, like I'm using um, a while ago. That's better. Okay. And now I'm going to add the reflections. Careful the reflection, guys. It should be exact. It's really hard to put a reflection because it's gonna be exact. Okay. Not not exactly, guys, but um, at least um, the same. some some um, curves so i'm gonna add some curves like this one or the um to go just um sickness or zigzag lines Okay, that's it. <laughs> it's now a reflection. Okay. And then before I forget, I'm going to add um, highlights. So I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna add the white and the dark color, yellow and red. And the white, yellow. So I just apply it on the left side guys. And more white. And of course, here. And also some um, zigzag lines to create a rifle effect. Okay now so I'm gonna add more retouch especially on the on this one. Okay. I'm going to add more white. And I'm gonna use the bigger brush the number seven flat brush. So I'm gonna use the white directly here. You can use his fingers guys to blend the colors. It's okay. So it has a little um brown on the on the brush so it's mix.
Okay, so we're gonna go over here. Some sort of shadow, guys, or casted shadow from this one. So I assume that the sunlight is from the top. Okay, so it has white feathers, so I think I'm gonna cover it everything with white. Not everything, guys, but most of it. Okay. And also the Okay, that's it. I'm almost done. And of course guys, I should add um, reflection this one. Okay. So I'm gonna start with white. Pure white. So again guys, the zigzag road, discover everything on top. With a little zigzag, zigzag, um, zigzag strokes. And here, so Okay. That's it, guys. So I'm gonna add more um, reflections. So 
So just uh, one line, guys, horizontal lines for the reflections. But in the future, guys, if you wanna make a more realistic um, reflection, you should copy on a picture if you have, so that you can you will know the exact forms, and you're not guessing like me. <laughs> Okay. That's it. Okay, so I think I'm going to add more um, um retouch or details. So I think I'm gonna copy more in the reflection here. I'm gonna put it here. So I'm gonna use the same brush. Okay, so I use the yellow because it's yellow guys, so yellow and white. And okay. A little amount of red. Again guys, the same lines this uh some uh Horizontal lines. Okay. Just follow what I'm doing. Some of uh, curve or circular um, rifles or water rifles, guys. So also here. Okay, here. Okay. But this, I, th I think I'm almost done. Okay, what else? What else can we to retouch? I'm going to add more highlights on the water so I'm gonna use white be here Okay, and I think I am done. <laughs> Need to erase some uh, chalk. Okay, guys, I think I am done with my demonstration on how to paint the swan on the lake. So once again, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching my video, and I want to say my advice, guys, is to keep on painting, keep on practicing, practicing every day. Um, do more paintings, guys. The more you do. The more you will learn how to use the brush and the more you will learn how to mix the colors. So that's a very important guys and an advantage while you're still learning. Okay guys, so thank you very much and please hit like, add some comments and subscribe for more videos in the future and, and please subscribe uh, subscribe and if you wanna see my works guys my old works just visit www.jmesona.com and once again guys thank you very much and have a nice day